So today I'm going to be changing this coil. It's got a pretty bad leak. See all that oil at the bottom? So let's get started. I already cut the drain. Open the door up. Now let's get this out. So nice easy jobs. Especially a stand up, slide in and out. Still takes time, but right, take these out of my way because they're more of a problem than anything else. Okay. And this is split over here. Let's take these out. Now let's disconnect the TXV. This has to come down. I don't know why I'm holding it in place. It's going to be replaced. TXV is off. Okay. Now the piping. Excuse me, enough meat. Connect. Just untorch that. It's no big deal. So now bring these in. Start sliding forward. Make sure this is out of my way. Place. This is very important. We make sure we get pressure. If not, it's usually a bad coil once it's leaked. Right. 
Make sure you always have your gasket in there. That's what makes your seal on a TXV. Just bring these right together. I'm gonna have to go outside, start purging nitrogen. But first, let me get the door on. Everything's gonna fit. Snug this up. Okay. Good. No sealant, no nothing is ever needed on that. Now for this, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna start purging. I'm gonna push some nitrogen through. All right, so I'm purging. Gotta set the braze going through. Bring a little air coming out. All right, so now I've got a purge going on. Hardest part about purging is I gotta go through, but I disconnected my TXV bulb. Just so it doesn't go pop. I love that smell you get when you're purging. smell it. You don't want to pop your CFD. One thing you don't want to do. Once it goes pop, you're in trouble. I'm protecting my aluminum connection with a little bit of wet rag. And let's get this going. The braze, you got to make it very hot. heat and it rolls around really nicely not enough heat and you get like a sloppy joint like here all right so it's open the tank start pushing air in pushing in this way right go around there's my co-workers set up one shot hose these testos and he's pulling 31 negative it is what it is. A lot of guys do it that way. He's been in the field for about 20 years, so whatever he does, he does. That's how people do it. Okay. 
top. This is up to about 350. Pump this side up. And close this side. No drastic drop. Ah, it's giant eight, giant eight, man. Okay. Let's make sure nothing here is leaking. Leave my valve. Valves leak over time. Nothing's bubbling. Okay. I'm not dropping anyway. So let's go inside and make sure nothing's bubbling in there. From about, I'm gonna say 310, 305. All right, make sure nothing here. That's a, is that on an angle? I don't know. Nah, no, that's pretty straight. I'm gonna watch it. So it's on an angle, it's gonna leak. I always check factory fittings. Cause you never know as I moved it around, if I loosened anything. You don't want the bubbles, so you want to try to get it all liquid. And what I did looks pretty good. So weak sometimes. First time using them this season. We'll find out when it's the vacuum time. Well, it looks good. Nothing bubbling. So. Alright, so I just finished pulling a vacuum not that long ago. Holding under. 400 in the vacuum so I'm satisfied with this not really rising and if we are it's very minute because I've had my pump off for about I'm going to say a good 15 minutes so as you see it's not really moving so solid vacuum ready to start charging up just got to close some things up on the inside all right I went out for lunch I got back 406 so let's open up the valves put gas back in off oh, power down that unit so I can put the valve cores in I always like it pressurized open now let me open this side of course it's not Screwed down, but all right, both of my lines are down. I can take my vacuum hoses off. And I can put my pins back in. Alright, so now I'm going to pop the Schrader pins back in. I always pressurize the system first. 
There we go. This way I don't interfere with my vacuum and suck in some outside air. What you gotta do is push in, turn. Once you feel tight, you're pretty much done. Give it a little bit more, but not much. I know they make a tool, but I think it's useless. Why am I gonna waste money on a tool? That, okay, so now it's resistant. Boom, done. No more needed. This could come off now. If you're not sure, you could always take the back end off. Now the same thing over here. Then I'm ready to turn the AC back on. Putting new pins here just because of the work I've done. I involve new brand new pins along with it. And open sesame. Up, 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 up. There we go. I don't like it. It's gonna go crooked. I gotta re-loosen this and move it. It's one thing I don't want is for this to end up crooked. So. Always want anything you're threading to go straight. You bend it, you, you got a leak. Alright, there we go, we're getting there. Good. Anything you do, you learn the proper torque and the tightening. You don't need torque wrenches for everything. I mean, I see torque wrenches for flares and everything. My flares don't make. They never had torque wrenches for them when I started. You just learn how to get around it. Or how to do it right. But they're good and handy for people starting off. That don't have quite the experience. So they could learn. So they're learning. Kind of how I had to. It either was sealed or it leaked. Those are your options. And you did a flare. Put this back. Pop a screw into it. Two, three. Access T. I'm missing a pin, I think it sounds like. I must have jacked it for something. No. Uh, hopefully, my gasket's okay. We'll find out. Yep, sealed. And All right, that side's good. A lot of liquid. Good. Liquid line. 
exactly the line is on and discharge of the compressor and suction. Alright. Now we need a hose. I scratched near the lens, but I didn't scratch the lens. Boom. Okay. Now we take this upside down. Close hose. Open. The Minimus Purge. Now I'm going to put this here. One thing I really wished was that the valve was on the outside. And I had to turn it on. So, boom, 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 boom. And we're off. Let's see. So, hydrometers I can't pick up from out here. Liquid lines 105, so that's most likely my discharge. 65. Okay, so suction, liquid, discharge. Okay, supply return I can't pick up through the building. This is most likely my suction. So, let's change that to suction. Even though I don't believe it. Because if it was that low, well, I'd be shutting off. I got high pressure here. This is low. Let's see what's going on inside here. Hmm. Okay. So this one is high pressure. Just wasn't pushing the pin in enough. High pressure. Okay. 181, low pressure, suction, liquid, discharge. Okay, let's go home. 410A. Boom. Well, we, not, we need to add. We know that. So now we're throttling in, full throw. Full force, full force. You see suction lines on the right one, it's dropping down. No subcooling is going on. Doors open too, so. I'm gonna have to pretty much close this door soon, but let's not freeze the compressor. I'm gonna have to get another can of free refrigerant, Freon, whatever you want to call it down here. I'm getting the feeling I should just let it pull. Very long line set. So, I think I'm just gonna leave it pulling and grab another can. It's not even gonna get it high enough. No, I do have a little tiny bit of sub pool that popped up, but this can I don't think is going to be able to do it. It's pulling, it's pulling, it's pulling, it's pulling. 
And where's it going? Nowhere. I mean, 16 degrees our liquid line. I mean, 67. 16 is our suction. And we still have 100 psi. But See, it's not really returning yet, so let's add more. My can's not losing big pressure though, it's not dropping like 90s, 80s, which is a good sign. It is on the cooler side today. Let's see, I have a thermometer somewhere around here. What is today's temperature? About 67. So. There you go. AC's cooling. 68 return. quickly something in the dock up top I gotta check out there's a damper somewhere making some noise 52 coming down fifty that's perfect. Still coming down, but right now I have 18 degrees. I'm going to be at 19 now, so I got a good charge. Everything's working good. I'll be here for a maintenance in a couple weeks. Well, until next time, hope you guys enjoy this. Peace.